Mr. Henderson? Here. Mr. Professor Selby? Here. Mr. Gallagher? Here. Mr. Colosco? Mr. Berducci? Here. Mrs. Schneider? Here. Mr. Shosky? Here. Mayor Kennedy? Here. Solicitor McDermott? Here. Engineer Brett? Here. Steve King? Here. Chief of State? Here. And Mr. Miller? Here. I'm here. We had technical difficulties. <laughs> okay. I'll open the mic. Okay. Now, I'm going to open the floor for anyone who wants to speak. Please state your name. Is this the uh, public comment section? Yes. Okay, I will take that. Uh, my, my name is Gregory Jones. Hello, council members. I'm representing The One Music Fest, and our organization invites you and the community to take part in our fundraising event for the South Wheels, uh, Southwest Meals on Wheels program. This fundraising opportunity is happening at Blaze Pizza in South Fayette on Miller's Run Road on Saturday, September 19th from 2.30 to 7.30 p.m. Blaze Pizza will donate 20% of proceeds from your meal back to Southwest Meals on Wheels. So long as you bring in the flyer for the event or show it on your phone, during your in-restaurant purchase, or enter in the promo code 1322A, A is an alpha, during your online purchase using the Blaze Pizza app or through the Blaze Pizza website. Thank you for your time and attention, and we look forward to partnering with you in order to cause a seed for a good cause. Thank you. If anybody else wants to speak, going once, twice, no, I can't a little bit. I need a motion to approve August 10th, 2020, regular meeting minutes. All in favor? Excuse me.
by the advertisement, public display of Crohn's ordinance number 1015. Second, you name me, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passed. Having a motion authorized the advertisement, public display of proposed ordinance number 1016, an ordinance of the Myrtle Creek Law, electing to amend its non-go-form pension, a plan administered by the Pennsylvania Municipal Retirement System, pursuant to Article 4 of Pennsylvania Municipal Retirement Law, filed by all provisions of the Pennsylvania Municipal Retirement Law, as amended or applicable to the various panels. I move. Camino and Nick. Uh, 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 motion uh, passed. The motion that will amend Chapter 2, Section 201, certain animals and file for new on the original code of ordinances to allow for the keeping of chickens as recommended by the original plan. I'll second. Nick, then be checked. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed? Uh, motion passes. I need a motion to accept the 2021 minimum municipal obligation in the memo to the non uniform pension plan as prepared by the borough manager, estimated to cost $68,702. So moved. Second. In all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We need a motion to accept the 2021 minimum municipal obligation for the police pension plan as prepared by the general manager, estimated to cost $113,109. So moved. Second. Second. In all in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion passes. The motion authorizes the execution of chamber order number one, resulting in a contract increase of one dollar, and authorizes the disbursement of one hundred thirty-two thousand four hundred ninety-one dollars and seventy-seven cents from the capital projects fund for Gregory Construction. Gregory Construction for partial payment request number one for Maple Creek Zoning Wall Project. I'll move it. And Joe, thanks for saving us all. Joe and one second. I'm sorry. Who's second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion authorizing this disbursement of forty nine thousand eight hundred seventy eight dollars and twenty four cents, made in even payments of eight thousand three hundred thirteen dollars and four cents to the townships of Scott, Collier, South Fayette, and the boroughs of Green Tree, Carnegie, and Heidelberg, reflecting a direct pass through of returned assets of the terminated PMRS. The Southwest Regional Dispatch Center Pension Plan was original as the plan sponsor. So moved. Okay. Thank you, Nina. Thank you. Okay, one, one comment, Kurt. Yeah, but that money was not taxpayer money. That was money coming from a fund and money coming in. It closed that account. Money came into the borough. All we're doing is distributing out. So there's no, no correct job. Correct. Yeah. What happened is the, the dispatch center uh, closed up in the early 2000s. Um, there's no retirees, there's no vested employees, there's no survivors. It's been certified in zero for probably 15 years now. Uh, the formal borough manager before she left made a request through the Pennsylvania Municipal Power Retirement System to close the fund, which they did, and then the assets of the, of the fund, 58,000, have returned to us. Uh, it was a regional entity, so it wasn't just sold in Bridgeville. So if I share amongst the member municipalities and share six back seven. That's what we did. Okay, on the vote. All in favor. Aye. Opposed. Motion passes. I need a motion authorized in incurring the general obligation bank of capital projects in the amount of one million seven hundred thousand dollars. I say you know, I second. Second by name. I abstain. And then Joe uh Joe Sanders. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to authorize parking and municipal advertising consultants for the purpose of publishing and borough newsletter. Second. Uh, EJ? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I read the agreement. Is there not a fee or an No, the fee works is uh, he sells ads. Uh, from the ad proceeds, he pays for the newsletter to be published, formatted, 
Um, then the birth was called for it from postage. The bills were paid, whatever's left of the uh, advertising sales. And the telephone. He just sits in like the office. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I didn't. I took that's what it was. I think the police do something similar. So you guys do that. We'll put you out. Ah, yeah, we use it. Yeah. It's a similar situation. So. Isn't the old phone that they used to have? That was the ones. Yeah. Okay, good luck. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the purchase of two 20 foot by 20 foot park pavilions installed at state post storage pricing from Jeffrey Associates in the amount of $37,842 from Block on Running Park. So move. Uh, Joe Plus will so move and Nino on a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. I need a motion to accept and pay any commission due August 2020 real estate tax delivery report. I'll move. Second. And who's the second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. I need a motion to acknowledge receipt of the July and August 2020 treasury report. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. I need a motion to accept the August 2020 police report. So move. Second. Who's in there? All in favor? Um, Opposed? Okay, that was busy, Joe. Hmm. All right, we're going to move on to committee reports. Uh, administration. Thanks, Joe. So. Um, just to add on to the borough newsletter for our residents that are on the call, um, it's an ongoing effort to keep the citizens informed. Um, council, mayor, and um, the borough manager, we met with the advertising consultant to discuss all those issues, um, to understand the facts. Um, but the attempt is to create an annual borough newsletter that would start in 2020 um, and provide information um, to our residents for like uh, the annual calendar events or council meetings. So for those residents that don't have access to the internet or have to use it's just another way of communicating, and it's not something that we would incur expense for or the residents, the taxpayers, because the advertising would pay for that instead. Um, it would also include annual events for um, the fire department, the library, the kids and dates of the Eastern Eastern Bunny Parade or the Halloween Parade, the light up night, things like that. And in addition to that, um, if there are new things that come up and we want to provide information to the residents, we can add, like we did with the census report, we do a one page short, close sided information letter that we can pack into the garbage bill on a quarterly basis to keep records. So that's something that we're working for. We've been excited about that. We've been working on that for a while. Um, and we are also going to. Um, um, lastly, we're getting closer to providing or purchasing a community messaging sign that will be placed next to the borough building. That too, in an attempt to keep residents, um, businesses, in the towards the town. Just some new venues for communicating to everybody. Oh, and the phone system. So I just wanted to mention if anybody was having trouble this week, the last week, you know, um, getting through to the borough building, there was some trouble with the phones. Um, with the brand, 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 and then it uh, came up. So there were some glitches, and they are currently working on a new phone system because it's pretty in between. So uh, we're looking at updating the phone system here in the borough. Right. That's all I have. Thank you. Uh, funny, sure. Thank you. Uh, is everybody in the slot that we do up for $1.7 million? Uh, the decision was made to uh, include Chartier's Park in the projects that we want to get done. Uh, that project is targeted for next year, though, um, but rates are so cheap, we've decided to just move forward and do everything. We've also applied for 
two additional grants for Chartres Park, so we're hoping that we will be able to just continue on and, and get things done that we want to do as far as projects and uh, and uh, take advantage of the very low rates that we're able to get on that. Uh, I'm really excited for us to do that. Uh, yeah, real short and sweet. The work down in McLaughlin Park is progressing pretty well. If you drive by there, you can notice a lot of birds being moved. And I guess they're on schedule, uh, hoping to coordinate the project with the uh, lowering of the ball field, try to protect the pavement. I think that should be able to be accomplished. And uh, pretty excited about getting the park done down there. Chartier's Park, that's an ongoing thing. I hope we will get some of that grant money to help pay some of the costs. But uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Any, any questions for Joe? We're a little crazy. Okay, thank you. We're good. Uh, public works. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, we have the uh, Park Reporters can and then there we have a people that take and vacation and everything extra and that's great today with Joe and uh, he already thinking about that and I'm sure that the uh, the financial committee is going to hear it Joe about, about that uh, before the end of the year to to do something by the first year for me. In the person. I believe that's when Jerry and I talk about it, and they all <coughs> get it straightened up to the way to find it. But we have one person doing all the vacation, and as uh, I said, there's going to be very little work to hell for us. It would be one of the particular places we thought it's going to be March. By the time he is on vacation, the relation of the, everything else, he's going to give us very, very little deduction. Uh, we can press the parts, sides of the road, in a clean up later in empty trash replacement, road paving in patch, line paving, swept street, and our mechanic serves the uh, for the public works in the police department. And it's going to thank you. I'll probably take a lot of them. I think I know is I was talking to Mike Palmer, who we appointed as our emergency management coordinator. Um, we thought about trying to put together an alternate in case he's out of town or something. I haven't had a chance to talk to Joe. Uh, whether he'd be interested in that position or not. I, I believe Mike talked to you in regards to it, so I don't know how everybody else feels. At the point, Joe is a Walden in emergency management person. Yeah, and if he does, everybody, I think most of them do that. It's yeah. yeah, and he's a little bit more. And he's a good guy. Yeah. So, nice. The motion and the second is all in favor? Aye. 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 Last week, Mr. State Mayor Rosetta received the Pennsylvania State Mayor's Award. He was presented a plaque for being the outstanding mayor of the big year. And on Friday, uh, I attended the 9 11 service at Corpus Christi Parish. Our fire chief, Ray Costain, gave an outstanding speech. I spoke as well. The service was well attended. Thank you. Thank you. Please check in. Thank you, Council President. Um, both the police officers started mid August, I believe, when the officers started the schedule in late August. 
then our starting game of the month, and we had a total of tops on August 26th, sponsored by our team in charge. And final number of grand, that was 240 to 250 cell phones that day. And it was a pretty good turnout for all three locations. And we ended up with eight miles of taking some drugs off the street. I'm not sure if you're part of you know, the side of that, I provide you support and let us have questions. Thank you. Question two. Yes, sir. Final care. Thank you, sir. I'm ready to go. Uh, yes, good evening, everybody. Um, uh, our report uh, was submitted and a couple updates. The 2020 road program um, contract, we've been in discussions with them. They're going to be in mid-October to um, complete the work. Uh, we have submitted also uh, for next week for a meeting with the road committee, the um, long-term road plan. And uh, we did have our pre-construction meeting on the GEDF projects for um, the county grants for Janeway, uh, McLaughlin Run uh, project uh, faced uh, for the uh, flood control and for Bar Hill Road. Uh, those advertisements were sent out today since we did have that meeting and the notices uh, that the county required were also sent out. Uh, those bids will open on October 8th and be able to be awarded at your next meeting. Uh, we did include in our memo now a uh, listing of all the grants has been received, uh, the grant value as, as well as the borough match and any anticip anticipated start date so we can track those moving forward. Uh, backflow preventer project, uh, it'll be ready to go out the bid as soon as the HOP comes. Um, we would like to open that for the October meeting also, um, but we uh, have not received the HOP because um, different than the other projects, these all uh, required an HOP uh, from the state. And that's the last item I have. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, our chief, I believe, is on. I don't like your tools. Uh, hey, Brian. So, all right, for uh, August, we had uh, 28 calls from medical assistance. Uh, nine of those, uh, two motor vehicle accidents, and other race lanes called the vendor. Uh, we also, coming up here, we have our slave school cash. submit statistics for the year to date for you. Hopefully we're able to get those. Um, when it comes to EMS, we've been still challenged by COVID-19 trying to deal with that. Uh, it's cre created quite the challenge with call volumes surging in one day or two and then going to absolutely nothing the next day or two. So it's created quite the staffing and financial challenge to try and keep pace with all of that. Um, we have lucked out with some of the government programs to keep us financially going. Um, as you know, we, we make our revenue by billing for transports that we do. And without those being there from the COVID uh, issues, um, you know, we've uh, reduced our financial income. But uh, again, government assistance and the Payroll Protection Act and things have kind of helped us move along and keep us, keep us going for you. So uh other than that everything is else has been fairly status quo all right 
That's all of the people's time to go over to the rail yard and have a meal, but also purchase some raffle tickets because we won't be able to have our usual fundraisers. We are doing this raffle. Um, Kayla has some beautiful baskets there as well as a cornhole game that's um, also for raffle tickets. And we're also having a Tuesday night program the last Tuesday in this month at the fire department. So please come out the store. Thank you, Secretary. Hey, Bill. Yeah. 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 I'm ahead, wondering, Andrew. my computer screen, I've got like a phone call trying to come in. I don't know if you guys are getting that or. This is, this is Ray. I think, is Ben here? I don't know if Ben was on or not. Yeah, I'm here as well, Ray. Okay, go ahead, Ben. Thanks. Uh, so this is Ben Hornfeck, library director. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes tonight to share an update about the library as well as Love Your Library Month. Um, I know Ray has come to a couple meetings recently, but um, in case you haven't heard from the library, we did, much like the rest of the world, close down on March 13th, but we have um, pretty much immediately went to virtual programming, which we are continuing through the fall. Um, just for safety precautions, obviously. So it, all of that programming is available on Facebook and YouTube. Um, our programming staff is doing an excellent job with creating videos. They're all mostly pre-recorded, um, and that's for ease of access, so people can watch them whenever is most convenient to them. Um, we do have live story times on Monday and Friday that are on Facebook as well. Um, since then, in June, we started doing curbside pickup appointments. Uh, that's been going very well. In August, we were able to execute 372 curbside appointments um, between Monday and Thursday. Um, that said, I'm pleased to announce that on Monday, September 21st, we have our soft launch reopening that we will begin letting patrons back into the library again. Um, it will be obviously adapted services. So we're asking people to limit their visit to for approximately 45 minutes or less um, for safety. Um, computers will be available by appointment and then um but they can they're welcome to browse um obviously pick up any materials and curbside pickup will still be available as well um also in september it is once again love your library month um i did email all of you hopefully you'll receive it um information about love your library again it's a countywide initiative that's designed to promote awareness of and giving to libraries throughout September. So obviously that can be done with just a direct donation, um, but we do have some fun stuff going on to promote the support of Bridgeville Library. So one of those things, we're having a trivia night next Thursday. Um, it's virtual, you can sign up online. It's ac You can actually do it for free, but we're encouraging donations. So again, that's Thursday, September 24th. Um, we also have a Flamingo fundraiser right now. You can go online on, onto our website and sign up to have your house or someone's house you know or a business um, flocked with flamingos. We'll bring the flamingos overnight. They're there for a day and then they'll move on to the next location. Um, you can also purchase a flamingo book, which we will leave for you if you would like um, when we flock the person's house. Um, so that's all going on through the end of September. And again, any of this money that we raise is eligible for a prorated match from the Jack Buncher Foundation. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them, but thank you for your continued support. Thank you, Ben. Uh, anybody from the department who already joined us? Okay, I had to talk to Mike last week. He, he was coming and then he in house, but he, uh, he said he knows the news too. So uh, I don't know if there's somebody else on there that would do it for us. Yeah, I had acquired it. So we are not having meetings. So we may not have a Okay, I'm going to on. I'm I do see one. Oh, Sorry, I hit on mute. Hey, God. Um, I, I actually wasn't at the last meeting. Um, so I know that the topic of chickens came up, and I just got an update about, you know, uh, and I, I'm sure 
I know you guys run the me- some of you guys run the meeting, so um, I know it's uh, it got put to vote, and you guys know the outcome of that. So that's the only update I had. Thanks, Mike. Uh, uh, my report was submitted for the month, but it's just a noteworthy item that Laura uh, applied for and received $125,000 uh, through the County for CARES Act funding. It kind of helps us mitigate the pandemic. Uh, another noteworthy item in the real monthly report is project updates. Uh, and then at the end is a code enforcement report for the month that highlights all the permits issued and property maintenance violations sent out. So we're being very proactive trying to hit for the complaints come in, so you can see a very detailed item like this. Um, happy to report a lot of issues are being abated very expeditiously. So uh, it's going pretty smooth, uh, and uh, we'll keep this running along and hopefully uh, start seeing some good progress. That, that's all I have to say. Answer any questions that you have. I'm just happy to see my address. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions for Joe? Okay, I'll entertain old business. Any more old business? Oh, I think Chamber Bar uh, Raffle is being uh, done at the end of the month, right here, the 30th at the rail yard. Um, supports the Chamber that's done very well to, to stay afloat, but uh, any help uh, would be great to help them as well. So. Come down on the 30th to buy a ticket or stop by the chamber. Preferably make all of those tickets on the 30th day or so as well. So up to 750 tickets. But to be honest, like most times they sell for around 500, 600. So your odds are real good. I know the real yard and developing costs are some of those tickets. Cool. How about new business? Any other new business? All in favor? Aye.